All right, so you've been scouting, making a move to North Idaho. You've been doing a lot of research on Coeur d'Alene and the, the surrounding areas and really want a town that's a small town feel, maybe not very populated, but has a lot of amenities as well. Well, Cody, Lexi, and I are gonna vlog Rathrum, Idaho for you today. It's just northwest of Coeur d'Alene, about 25 minutes out. Amazing things to do, great living up there. So if you're interested in Rathrum, Idaho, stay tuned. Hey, what's happening everybody? Connor Hammonds here with the Living CDA Realty Group, brokered with EXP. Uh, we do videos like this all year round on what it's like to live, work, and play here in beautiful North Idaho. Today specifically, we're gonna give you a tour of Rathrum, Idaho. I'm gonna meet up with Lexi and Cody. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. We really appreciate you guys watching and reaching out. Um, but, and we help people all year round find beautiful homes to live in in North Idaho, whether it's on Acreage, Downtown, Rathrum, Post Falls, Hayden, Sandpoint, Coeur d'Alene, all over the place. But we can't help you unless you reach out. So if you're watching the video, if you're making a trip up north to maybe have a vacation this uh, spring or summer and scout the area or take a look at North Idaho, reach out, call us, text, email us, however you can get a hold of us so we can help you find the perfect place in North Idaho. I'm hopping in the truck, gonna go meet up with Cody and Lexi. We're gonna do a boots on the ground vlog of Rathrum, show you the different areas, the different types of living, and uh, cool, unique things um, that are great about that area. So stick around and we'll meet up with them here in just a second. All right, guys, I, I picked up a couple Yahoos <laughs> and we're heading north on Highway 41 up from Post Falls to beautiful Rathrum, Idaho. Cody, tell me a couple things, a couple reasons why someone would choose or want to live in Rathrum, maybe over other areas in, you know, our Coeur d'Alene metro. Um, I think for a lot of people that, that I work with or just, you know, being around this area, like the idea that you can be in a small community, um, in a pretty good school district and, but still be within five to 10 minutes from the interstate and can get quickly to the airport if needed um, and you just get a little bit more bang for your buck out in Rathrum so you get a little bit more property for a little bit lower price or maybe a little more square footage um, so people like that and then there's that kind of small town feel um, you know a little more like no chain restaurants things like that local restaurants small little grocery stores um, kind of makes it appealing to people yeah, and I think one of the things I always think about when uh, showing people property or people looking for homes in Rathrum, which is just north of Post Falls, is there's a lot of new construction happening. And so lower, probably the lowest price points, entry level price points for new construction. Uh, wouldn't you say, Lexi? Yeah, definitely. And there are quite a few different uh, builders that build out here. Some really good choices and just a lot of new neighborhoods going in, some um, that have parks and walking trails and things like that. And then of course you're close to the beautiful Rathrum Mountain, which is a nice backdrop for your new house. Yeah, fun fact about Rathrum Mountain <laughs> is uh, the telltale sign of when you can actually plant vegetables in your garden. Everyone says around here is you, you look at Rathrum Mountain in the spring and as soon as you don't see any snow at all, you should be good to go. But that's kind of crazy because this year we haven't had hardly any snow. So it's early February and there's no snow on Raptor Mountain, which is crazy. Um, but we're going to go, we're just entering it right now and we're going to show you some different areas of new construction, maybe some areas that have uh, acreage and homes on acre, acreage. The little downtown, there's a nice quaint main street, real small, but has a few really good restaurants. And then you're also close to three smaller lakes out here. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. popped in one of the newer subdivisions that's being built out right now called Brookshire in Rathdrum. It's kind of situated in the southeast like prairie part of Rathdrum, Idaho. 
and there's a few different builders within this neighborhood Hayden Homes which is a kind of a bigger production builder in our area as well as Dom Construction Atlas Building Company which is a higher end you've seen us do some vlogs down at the Atlas Waterfront really high-end modern homes uh, there's a little pocket of those houses as well so we're gonna drive around a little bit um, price point wise uh, Lexi I know where do you where's it going right now kind of like low 400s to I mean you could build uh, with Hayden homes like you know a over 3,000 square foot home and be you know in the low 600s probably depending on upgrades high 500 somewhere in there yep yeah so there are some other builders in here that might be a little higher price point with higher end finishes and RV garages and things like that but yep and a couple of the builders are offering credits right now at least last mm -hmm. month I had a couple buyer clients purchase um, get under contract with the Hayden Homes build here in Rathdrum and they offered a $25,000 credit for closing costs, rate buy downs, however you wanted to use it. So I think their two houses both came in just over 400,000. So that's starting to be a you know attainable price point. Even if you if you didn't do a lot of upgrades, you could even sneak under that 400,000 mark. So we're going to show you some of the different types of housing and what it looks like from Hayden Homes to uh, the Atlas Building Company as well. So that house right there that I showed you is a Atlas home in Brookshire. So these homes are really popular right now because you got the attached RV garage and everyone's got boats, RVs here in North Idaho. So super popular in Brookshire. He used to be a high school teacher at Post Falls High and had a lot of students that ended up that went to K-Tech and, and uh, we'll show you that and he can chat a little bit about it. Yeah, so um, I taught at Post Falls High School for about three years and I, I worked with a lot of at-risk kids and um, K-Tech is pretty awesome because it provides an alternative to traditional schooling and allows kids um, within the high school systems here to spend part of their day or all of their day working on trades. So things like welding, electricians, um, plumbing, uh, construction, um, think our mechanics stuff like that. So it's a pretty it's a pretty awesome program. It's really provided a lot of good things for our youth in this area. And there it there it is right there. We're driving by it. And it's funded by all three uh, school districts. So it's kind of a joint effort between Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, and Lakeland school districts. So all the kids from all the area uh, get to go there. And it's great for the trades, for sure. We need a lot of tradesmen yep. and women here to help build all this new construction. You can see a bunch <laughs> of power lines over there for training. Um, and then it also, right next to it is, what is that, the North Idaho? College Technical Center. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's right on the outskirts of Rathdrum. Really cool educational uh, opportunities for our local local kids and local kids that are in high school. So, all right, we're heading to the little, small, little teeny downtown of Rathdrum. We'll show you a couple restaurants that we really like, and uh, then we'll we'll head out to some other types of housing. Okay, we're popping down to. 
the hustle and bustle in Main Street of Rathdrum, Idaho. Uh, Lexi, what are a couple restaurants that you my, enjoy? Uh, my favorite restaurant in this area is called Westwood Brewing, and they have really good, uh, well, lots of things, but my favorite is their steak salad. It is amazing. So, and it's right over here in like the old, is it the old police station? Maybe. down a block or so that's a mexican food yeah super good everyone loves nadine's uh -huh. here i'll sh we'll just give you a little shot of it here so that's nadine's mexican kitchen westwood brewing company fantastic here in rathrum it's a small little downtown those are pretty much the main restaurants <laughs> Uh, there's a couple other ones in other areas, but um, those are really good spots to eat. Okay. Okay. So we're kind of on the road on the backside of Lakeland Middle School, which is the middle school in Rathrum. And as you saw, there's a train tracks that go real close. And if you do live in Rathrum, one thing to note, a lot of times you're gonna hear some train action because the, the main route goes through Rathrum. Um, and it's it's pretty much follows the highway. So the closer you are to that highway, the more you'll hear it. It blows its whistle at a few stops, but um, yeah people a lot of times they'll ask about trains and you know unless you're quite a f far a ways away you'll definitely hear some trains um, some people like it though it's kind of still it's kind of nostalgic for some people um, now we're rolling up we were behind the middle school and we'll show you Rath or uh, Lakeland High School which is a you know the schools in the Lakeland School District Cody hit on it for a second it's a it's a very highly rated school district I think a lot of it has to do with a little bit lower class sizes um, and there's different options too there's a, a stem school that is really high performing school in our state as well so here's here's Lakeland High I'll give you a shot of that Lexi, didn't it? Didn't it? Maddie, one of your kids go to briefly to STEM? Um, actually, my three Was older kids all went to kids? STEM. Yeah, the oldest for middle school, and then um, the second oldest for grade school, and the third one went for a couple of years. We live in Coeur d'Alene though, so it's a bit of a drive out here. But it is a great school. It's K through 12, and it's public. Um, it's a charter school, so it you know there's no tuition and um, pretty pretty rigorous. Uh, it is, yeah, uniforms and um, project based kind of learning. It's really cool. Lots of cool projects they did with Lego and other um, robotics and things like that when they were out there. So. All right, now we're headed just a little bit west of downtown Rathdrum to show you a little bit more of acreage type of living. There's a new construction neighborhood going up uh, and we will give you an idea what they look like and the price points of it. There are two different types of acreage living in the Rathdrum area. There's the prairie and now we're kind of getting up on the hillside. So mountain landscape, a lot of pine trees. And uh, yeah, where are we heading, Cody? Um, so we're gonna head up uh, to, it's a neighborhood, Spiral Ridge Trail is kind of the, the main street that goes through there, but um, they're, they're higher level homes. Your, your entry price point up here is about a million. Um, kind of overlook, wrath, the views are beautiful, overlook wrath from lots of trees, lots of, you'll have deer, elk, moose, um, grouse, turkeys, uh, everything up here basically. Um, super pretty custom homes. This timbered ridge. Um, so it's kind of a it's a mix of builders. So there's some timbered ridge. Um, there's Selkirk, Selkirk monogram Monarch, or, or Monarch, yeah. Monarch Monarch Monogram. Yep. 
Yeah, and so we're on the west side of downtown Rathdrum, which kind of will take you all the way to Hauser, which is another, I would consider it part of the Rathdrum community, Hauser Lake. Um, and new construction, you'll see a lot of timbered ridge um, when you're out in this area, which is a builder that builds a lot of nice higher end homes on like five acre, one acre to five acre pieces of land. So uh, if you're looking online and looking for builders in this area, check out Timbered Ridge. They, they got a lot of neighborhoods in the area. There we go. This is a super nice little neighborhood here. We can just drive. Yeah, through. Lost Creek. This is this neighborhood's called Lost Creek, and it's on the way to Spiral Ridge. Nice. Yeah, so the house is here on the left-hand side, on Cody's side have really nice views. We can't really see it from here. But if you can sneak a peek through there, we're kind of up on a ridge and so their backyards overlook the the prairie, pretty much in the whole valley, which is Post Falls and Rathdrum. And these aren't homes on acreage in this in the Lost Creek neighborhood here, but they're really high-end homes as you saw on on that video. They have shops and they're probably on about a half acre lots I would say yeah I think the ones on this side because you do go down the hillside a little bit I think they'll be right around an acre and then these are right around half to three quarters and price points in here um your entry price point in here is probably like one four yeah these are pretty pretty nice homes and there are lots of square footage most of them are well over 3,000 square foot shops All right, as we drive out to Lost Creek here, I thought, I mean, I wanted to be honest about this area too. We talk about all the good things, but may, what are some reasons people might not want to live in the Rathdrum area? Cody, Lexi, you got any reasons? Um, well, Cody so, loves it, so he might say <laughs> nothing. I, I would say though, typically speaking, not this year, and it's not gonna show because this time of year, there's usually two foot of snow in this part of the area. I mean, the snow in this, especially on Rathdrum Mountain, but through Rathdrum all the way up to Spirit Lake, um, typically they get probably anywhere from 40 to 60 inches more than what yeah. Coeur d'Alene does. Yep. I would say if you are into nightlife or like going out to the movies real easily or um, shopping, there's, you know, not a ton of that. I mean, there's a, all the things you need, um, your essentials, but there's not a lot of like, you know, clothing stores and that type of thing around here. Lexi? Yeah, no, for me, um, I think it's just a little too uh, far out for just as active as my kids are and all the things that we do tend to be more in, you know, the Coeur d'Alene area. So um, for that reason, it's probably not a place that I would move right now. And that would probably change when the kids are older and I didn't have that to contend with. Yep. Um, but you know, Costco's in Coeur d'Alene. So. <laughs> Costco's, <laughs> Costco's in Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> but to, to be fair, you know, if you're coming from a place where it takes you a lot of time to commute five miles, uh, you can get to Costco from here and probably 35 minutes or so, maybe yeah. 40. But, and also I will say every little community, whether it's Post Falls, Rathdrum, Hayden, Coeur d'Alene, there's, there's a lot of local sporting and activities in That's your, true. in your community. Um, if you have younger kids, but you know, if you're traveling a lot to Spokane and whatnot, it's a little bit further drive. All right. We are here in Spiral Ridge. Um, Let's see, Lexi, one of the view side. off the left side, some great views. You what? Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta delete that. No, that's <laughs> That shows how often I use GoPros. 
Oh man. Okay, thank you. So pretty. How big are the lots in here, Cody? An acre ish? some snow that's when you know you're in the snow belt there's not snow on raptor mountain but there's a tiny bit up here just outside of um, Rathrum and it has Twin Lakes is named for the lake that it sits on and it's a smaller lake but there are motor I mean motorized boats you can wake surf ski you know pull a tube it's a little bit smaller I my we have a cabin on Twin Lakes and we absolutely love it it's a little quieter than you know the Hayden and Coeur d'Alene lakes and it's a great fishing lake so we're heading into Twin Lakes Village which is very popular for people um, who maybe have a, a house up here just for the summer, there's condo living. There is a higher HOA fee, but it, it's because it includes a full golf and club membership. Um, and there's a, there's a pool in the summer and it's a really tight knit community. During the 4th of July, they have a golf cart, 4th of July parade, there's a restaurant. Um, it's a really cool facility and there's a common area that has access to a dock and the beach and kayaks and stand up paddle boards, all that fun stuff you can do in the summer. So we'll give you a sneak peek at Twin Lakes Village, just another type of living in the Rathrum area. So within Twin Lakes Village, there are single family homes like you just saw we're driving into. There's condos, townhouses. We'll head on down to closer to the water here and show you the, um, the condos real quick. At least some of the condos. There's quite a few of them. Hop out real quick and show you guys a sneak peek of the lake. So this is the very south side of Twin Lakes. There's a lower lake and an upper lake and on the very south side is where the golf course is and this is where you would paddle board. There's a basketball court here.
So it's beautiful out here. Behind me is, you can see up the north side of uh, Twin Lakes. It goes way far up north. There's a dock down there. And this is just a great common area. If you want a condo that's part of a golf course association and access to water, Twin Lakes Village, great option. Just kind of north, northeast of downtown Rathrum. Okay, one, one quick note on the condos here. If you're ever like searching on realtor.com or Zillow, uh, you'll notice they're really cheap. So a lot of times we get inquiries on why, why are these, you know, not that much money. It's because they have a very high HOA, um, I think 650 a month. So you kind of have to compute that into it as well. But if you do love to golf and love to use those amenities, it may be worth it for you. As you can see a little bit more snow up here so we're a little north creeping into the snow snowball and uh beautiful putting green was just covered in snow that was the clubhouse back there and uh on our way back down and heading south towards post falls yeah yeah so on one of those holes uh a par three there's a little pond that's really fun so if you have kids who like to golf my son will come with me they stock the pond with gigantic rainbow trout they're two three feet long and uh you you can feed them they're huge it's pretty just fun fun unique piece of twin lakes golf course well there you go guys that was a vlog of beautiful rathrum idaho just located northwest of Coeur d'Alene absolutely love it up in Rathrum. So if you're interested more in that area and the opportunities to purchase a home up there, reach out to us. If that's really not the style for you, that's okay as well. We specialize in finding the perfect property for you, but we can't help you unless you call, text, or email us. So reach out however you can get a hold of us. We'd love to help you. So until the next video, guys, see you later.